Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about 10 things that you need to do the summer before college. So basically things that every freshman should be doing the summer before college to prepare for college and things that I personally wish I had done the summer before college. So I'm very excited about this video. I have on my Mount Holyoke College sweatshirt because I just felt like being like cozy and you know school pride in this video. came up with this idea and I really wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like these 10 things are absolutely going to help you prepare for college and I really think that doing these things really eased the process of uh, transitioning into college, which is obviously a big change in your life. So I really hope that these tips help you guys out. I think they are really super helpful. The last one is definitely essential. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please leave it a like. That helps me out so much. And subscribe so you can stick around and be part of the well, YouTube fam on here, that'd be amazing. Okay, so number one is so important and can really affect your grades, honestly, and your whole experience in general. And it is to look up all of your potential professors, the website ratemyprofessor.com. It is so crucial, I promise you guys. So basically, it's this website where other college students who have taken classes with those professors will leave their like completely truthful reviews of the professors. So like if they're really harsh graders, if they give you a lot of homework, what they expect from you in class, if they want you to talk a lot, all that stuff that no one talks about but can completely change your classroom experience. So definitely, definitely check all of your professors on there and if one of them sounds like it doesn't really fit with your learning style, consider changing it. Your grades can be impacted by the specific teacher so much. Like at Mount Holyoke, for example, I took a sociology class, which is a popular subject. So there are like four, I think, different teachers who teach the same class. And they all had super different grading techniques. And I'm not going to like say anything, but I think if I was in a different class, I would have gotten a better grade. So it's like, that's all I'm saying. Definitely use that website. And if you ever have a bad like interaction with a teacher or anything literally just like put it on there because other people don't need to go through that too and the next thing is pretty obvious but equally as important and it is to contact your roommate so once you know who your roommate is definitely reach out to them it's super weird if you like don't reach out to them and then you just like meet on the first day of school i feel like that would be kind of awkward like introduce yourself a little bit maybe you can like swap phone numbers or something and make sure you check with each other if you have like a mini fridge or something and just like collaborate on what you're going to share in the room because this can prevent a lot of misunderstandings later on so definitely contact your roommate introduce yourself and just say hi okay this next one is super similar and i have talked about this before in other videos i think definitely contact future classmates and potential friends on social media before you start school so a lot of people when they get into college and start to become like a new part of a new college class they'll put like class of 2023 in their bio or something like I have like Mount Holyoke class of 2023 and that is the perfect way to find people that are going to be in your classes I know that there are always like Facebook groups and stuff you can definitely join those but I personally hate Facebook so I just don't like Facebook so I don't use those but Instagram I think is a great way of chatting with future classmates and the reason this is so important I know it can be kind of like scary or awkward to just like contact someone out of the blue but everyone wants to make friends before freshman year and it is so nice to show up on campus and like recognize a person from like their Instagram photos or something and just be like oh my god like I actually recognize a person it's like takes away so much stress and I'm not saying that they're going to be your best friend or anything but my best friend that's how I met her so it worked for me on to number four so this is one that personally helped me a lot I was like in a really random sleep schedule in high school I would stay up really late and then wake up early and then like wake up late it was like 
I just didn't have a sleep routine or like a time I usually fell asleep or woke up and this is not for everyone but I personally suggest setting a sleep schedule and if you start this in the summer it's going to help you so much incorporating it into your just like daily life at college so a lot of college classes aren't nearly as early in the morning as high school classes are but I swear to you, it's like time is different in college. 8 a.m. class in college is like the crack of dawn. Like it feels so early. So if you're going to take earlier classes, make sure that you start your sleep schedule now. I swear it will make it so much easier to ease in to that. And that's one more thing you won't have to adjust to. And we are so here for that. Number five, do not buy textbooks. I'm going to repeat that. Do not buy your textbooks during the summer. You might not even need them and a lot of times I'll go into classes and the teacher will be like, oh I have this extra textbook for free if anyone wants it or actually guys you don't need the textbook at all. So definitely wait until you're certain that you need it and then you can also find the best price on Amazon or rent it from somewhere or use Chegg. Um, there's so many resources for finding college textbooks. Do not buy them in the summer. It's a huge waste of money and also don't buy them from the campus bookstore. No matter what they say, they're actually more expensive than other places. So just saying. Okay, so number six is to make sure that you are covering all your bases in terms of assignments before school actually starts. I don't think that it's very common that teachers do this, but I just think it would be so awful to show up on the first day and like the teacher expects you to have something done like I'm pretty sure I've had a nightmare like about that at one time but anyway definitely just once you get your official class schedule just make sure you go over it and read the syllabus if it's available just so you know what you're getting into and on that note buy a planner you absolutely absolutely need a planner if you're not a paper planner kind of person you need to figure out what kind of planning and scheduling works best for you maybe it's google calendar or an app on your phone but you have to have some way of planning and keeping track of your assignments in college because if not it's just gonna like snowball and it's not gonna go well for you <laughs> please figure out a method of planning that works well for you and this will be like your holy grail and will save your sanity in my personal experience. So yes. Number seven is to do what you're doing right now. Is to literally watch college advice videos. You guys, I watched so many of these because I'm sure like you, if you're watching this, I was super anxious about going into college. It's such a big change. And literally countless numbers of people have done it before you. So if they're making a video to share their mistakes so you can learn from them, absolutely, absolutely do that. So you don't have to go through it yourself. I cannot suggest that enough. I learned so many invaluable tips from actually just watching YouTube videos like this one. And I swear they helped so much. Okay, my battery died because I am talking about this so much because I'm very excited about this video. I think we're on number eight now. So the eighth thing that you definitely need to do is about dorm shopping. And my biggest tip for this is to do it periodically. So don't do it all at once. And yeah, basically just space it out because... You never know when things are going to go on sale or when you're going to find the perfect thing. So don't go like all in one day and try to get everything that you need for your dorm. Definitely go out, browse if you can go out because right now we're in quarantine. But hopefully we will not be soon. <laughs> or if you're shopping online, just do a little bit at a time. I find this saves the most money for me personally. And also you get the stuff that you like the most and is the cutest and looks the best. So yes, definitely. Uh Stop! Henry is screaming again. Okay, the second to last one is super random, but I didn't know it was a thing, and you definitely need to do this. I'm pretty sure every college requires this. I know that mine does. Other ones that my friends go to also did this. You have to complete like a drug seminar thing online about like over drinking and stuff before you go to college. It's just like a basic safety thing educating you about like how much you can drink before you like die. Um, so yeah, it's definitely not fun at all. It takes like four hours, but it's obviously important and you should definitely do it beforehand because you don't want to have to be doing that like awful online seminar and doing the live one in orientation at the same time because it's not very fun. So 
I would suggest just getting it over with. And if you have time now, just like do it now because... You just want to get it over with. So this is my last thing and I absolutely think it's the most important which is number 10 and that is to just have a great summer and I know this is super cheesy but I really believe this is so important. This is your last like high school summer. It's a big transition going into college a lot of things are going to change which is obviously super exciting and amazing but live in the moment you know obviously it's great to be excited about college and i totally get that and i want you to be happy and excited for college but just live in the moment spend time with your high school friends i literally sound so cheesy but i really think it's true so spend time in your hometown go to your favorite places eat at your favorite restaurants if you can obviously um, Skype your friends or FaceTime your friends or whatever you can do to connect with the people that you love and just like enjoy yourself. College is really stressful and the summer before you should really celebrate you know going through all the work to get into college because it is so hard like I feel you it's so really just enjoy this you deserve it and like have a great summer so i really really hope that you guys enjoyed this 10 things to do the summer before college video i really really believe in all of these tips and think that they're going to help you a lot they are of course all from my personal experience so i hope that they help you as well if you guys have any tips or things that you wish you had done before college or you're doing to help you prepare Please comment those down below because I would love to see and I think that would help out everyone in the comments. But yeah, if you guys want like fun, like aesthetic, aesthetic <laughs> college content, vlogs, productivity stuff, please make sure you subscribe. That would be so amazing. I make videos every Monday and every Friday so you always get a bunch of fun content to watch. I really hope you're doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye! It's not for me to say